Hello and welcome back to another and the last episode of Fleabag Bronze Season 2 Episode 6. I can't wait to just dive into this one, to be honest. I'm excited to see where it goes. We've got the wedding, finally, between stepmother Angry Pants. <laughs> that was the nicest way I could put that. Um, and Father Dearest. Uh, we might be falling in love with the pre well we're falling in love but he might be falling in love with us getting some feelings back we've been on such a journey i i, I can't even like begin to think how this will end like how it will be between claire and fleabag claire and martin claire and claire um you know the priest and fleabag fleabag and her, her father um you know the the th memory of her mother and Bru there's so many things that uh, I don't know will necessarily be talked about or looked at, but just to like think about all those those relationships and what we've been through and this whole like story of comedy, but also grief and processing and moving on and life. I don't know. I just I can't wait. I'm so excited. It has been such an amazing show. It's been hilarious um, and a great time, but very deep. I was not expecting, I was expecting like full on comedy, but not this really amazing and rich story. Um, and I've, I've just very much enjoyed it and I'm happy it was recommended. I'm happy it was um, up on the poll. Uh, so I'm just excited to finish it off. Uh, if you'd like to watch the full length reaction to this episode and the whole season one and two, I have a link to my Patreon down below. Uh, like and subscribe and let's get into it. Oh my word. He's probably like enjoying it too, right? Cause he's like, we might not have had this for a while. <laughs> <I just hold. laughs> she looks like she's in love. She looks so happy. I just can't believe he did that. For her. I know. Yeah. It kind of shows how strongly he feels towards her, which is beautiful. How is Claire? Well, he's crazy about me. Oh my gosh. Nightmare. He's no. back to Finland today anyway, which is good. It's cute. We're happy. Fine. It is. We're going to Finland, right? Surely. It's going to be a lovely day, isn't it? Oh, with that, <laughs> with that attitude. I see. This is um. My. Oh my God. What? This is. God, how That's the person you're marrying. <laughs> this is the love of my life. <laughs> <laughs> what is his name? Why aren't you? Ch is there somewhere I can put this? This is so strange. You're such a sweetheart. She's a natural rule breaker. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, well, I've been trying to get rid of it for ages. Oh. Oh, fantastic. You're welcome. Open it over a bin. So I've got somewhere to put the paper. <laughs> oh. What on earth? Come with me. Who? <laughs> Why can't you name any of us? I know it's the whole shtick. I know if you change your mind. You because suck. Because it's the most important day of my life. Is it? And I love your father very much. Then what's his name? <laughs> oh, they want... Yeah, I was going to say they can't get their hands off each other. Oh my gosh. Honeymoon phase. Oh my word. <laughs> you have lipstick all over oh, you. Yeah, no, can't do that. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh, he's, he's in love. He's in love. Oh, what this feeling is. Love. <laughs> God. Is it God or is it me? I don't know. I better bloody hope it's you. <laughs> or else God's doing some scary hanky-panky magic and we don't need that. I don't want God jumping in on my bits. Calm down. No, thank you. <laughs> Fuck you, then. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shh, you will. Probably a lot more over your life together. Who's had a miscarriage? Yes. Me too. But you knew that you were there. It was my miscarriage. Yeah. Oh my god, she's saying it. Miscarriage. Oh my god, Claire. I thought you'd find that funny. How interesting. Yeah. She was just covering for me. Because she's a good sister. It was my yeah. baby? Sorry, so you haven't had a miscarriage? No, you bitch. I guess it was your baby's way of saying it didn't want you as its father. <laughs> oh, wow. Out of the bowl sort of thing. Holy shit. Ever had a miscarriage? Could you take it to the kitchen, please? No. 
We're doing this here. Let me joke. Oh, and this is over. You know, what's what's a better day than a wedding for a divorce, am I right, people? Oh my lord, yes! Ditch that pig. You're leaving me. No. Bye, Martin. Could you just fuck off? Oh, bro. No, we're here. I'm staying right here. <laughs> yes, it's the power. I want you to leave me. Yeah. I just, I have. I think he has a little speech. I have oh. a little speech that's building here. Building? You didn't even prepare one. So, I am not going to leave you. But we. Uh, Down on your knees and begging me. Oh my god, Claire, jump. Jump on the ground. Please leave me. <laughs> Hell yeah, Claire. She knows what she wants. We all, deep down, know what we want. I don't think you'd do that in that dress. Yeah, that's how much she despises you. And that's what she wants. And I want you to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Love you all. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, you're not going to stay around? Good. Take Jake with you. You know what? At least Jake knew... She was too good for him. Or just not right for him. And we've got Claire. We're going to go to Finland, take that promotion if we can get it back. Go to Finland and have an amazing time. And have a great life. I'll do this reading. No, you got this. You got this. You go and get him. Go get go Claire. Get him. Why not? Go get Claire. Go Leave my father's wedding. He is not. Also, Claire, for God's sake, and he's already at the airport anyway. Who cares? You love him. Is it running through the airport kind of love? I'm not going to the airport. You think I was insane? No, he'll love it. Airport? How would I even find him? You Can't know where he's going. A boarding pass. Finland. A ticket just to get through the gate. I don't know when his flight is or which terminal. Well, Finland. Him finding out I knew all that. You know all that. Boots, buying a pair of tweezers in Terminal 5, and suddenly I was there. Hello, Claire. Yeah, okay, that would be intense. Yeah, no, go for it. The person I'd run for an airport for is you. What? It's the nicest thing you bloody said this whole time. And we've had some sweet moments. And love isn't something that weak people do. <gasps> She's going to run through the airport. A hell of a lot of hope. I think what they mean is, when you find somebody that you love, it feels like hope. Ugh. Oh my lord. In the whole thing and everything, this is beautiful. Oh, Claire, go to Claire. Go out the sideway. Yeah. Go by that boarding pass. Oh, look at these two little romantics. And how they sit so... 46 minutes? Oh, it'll magically come in a minute. It better! I don't care if I'm in love, that is hell. Waiting for a bus? They wanna kiss. <laughs> and be in love. Can you just keep it a secret from the church? And the Lord? It's God, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. He chose God. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Hell, I was so excited. That I fucking love you. Oh. <laughs> no. I love you. I've been... Uh, this is hurt. <laughs> no, let's just leave that out there just for a second on its own. Yeah. Oh. I love you. Well, that just hurts my soul. It'll pass. It'll pass, but love is so strong. It's not an easy emotion to just disappear. Sorry, I did like a that symbol. I was meant to be like smoke, not. So <laughs> Apologies. For ruining the is not magically coming. I think I'll walk. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out for foxes. Uh, see you Sunday. <laughs> I'm joking. You're never ever allowed in my church again. 
Okay, we're back here, but we had sex. I love you too. <sighs> like, I admire his okay. strength to be able to love her and, and choose something else, but to deny yourself that. I know it's such an important thing to him, but to deny love is unbelievable. Like to that happiness. Holy shit. Cancelled. Oh, we be walking too. I just can't walk. A fox! He went that way. Yeah. Go get him. He ditched us for God. He deserves to be eaten by foxes. I found my way here. Oh, good on you. Was that the start of episode one where she took it? It feels like a good connection. I think it was. But I feel like it's kind of, it's kind of interesting with what we've been through, through this whole series. She's like actually equipped to deal with this. No? <laughs> I felt like she answered me. No. Holy shit. Bye. See, oh. It was great having such a... Been friends with you this whole time. I think that was actually... Like, I think it was... A lot of it was used for comedy throughout. Um, like us been there with her and been able to talk to us and see her like in a monologue um, But there was this beautiful part of it that did like Feel like we're friends like we're along for the ride. We're incorporated into her inner thoughts. We get versions of of, of Events from her person. She lets us in and it, and it felt good like we were you know checking in with a friend We got to know she wouldn't let us see some things, but would eventually Learn about that because you know sometimes you do, you want to hide the hardest things from your friends. You don't want them to see and don't want them to come in. I think that was such a unique and brilliant way to do it. I loved it and to just just to wave goodbye to us at the end is kind of like that that finish of it and and you know kind of her loves over her friends. So we're all moving on and you kind of just think about what she'll be able to to do and where she will go and and the connection she has and i don't know through through all this work from like her learning and growing and through grief and tragedy and pain and and mistakes you kind of just believe that this is something a beautiful that she got to go through for once it was it was probably nearly one of the most painful things, but it was a pain of love um, in, a, in a different sort of sense than, you know, loss that she she might be like finally equipped to go out. And A, maybe this could be taken literally any other way and maybe I'm just, you know, smoke's coming out of my ass and I have no idea what's going on. But I guess, you know, in something like this, it can be interpreted in different ways. I'd love to know how you kind of felt with this ending and and felt like because I feel like it's a sense of like and especially with that song I felt like I was it was I've already like blacked it all out it was already like you know it will be okay kind of she's just like ready to go she she knows she's kind of had these you know everything's kind of wrapped up nicely with everything is felt right and she's ready to go and she is she's learnt such things through our journey together which again i think is fantastic and that we just get to we get to know she'll be okay and that she'll move forward it's very i already kind of like want to watch it again and just like have that you know see season one because season two was phenomenal and season one was amazing so to 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 i think go further and keep pushing such a great show is amazing and amazing writing and just from where she was in season one to season two 
I think they both were very special. Like even seeing that guy that ran the cafe that gave her the loan to see his progression and kind of see him from where he was. And it's, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's really special. The writing they did, it was fantastic. And it just, it kept getting better. And it just felt like such amazing, like growth and learning and just processing and thinking even. And the, the things they did make you think about and, Ah, I don't know. It was good. It was amazing. It was so good. I'm happy I watched it. I've had friends tell me about it forever. And and the fact that you wanted to come along and watch with me was fun too. Um, I hope you've had a good time. I, I said in the end of the last one that Crashing is definitely on my list. Because I think that's made, directed, written, started by um, Phoebe Waller-Bridges. I hope that's her name <laughs> as well. Um, it's on my list. It'll definitely, hopefully be, uh, gotten to eventually, um, whether it be put on a poll or a couple of polls or, uh, I do hope to get it to eventually, but you know, we'll see how the schedules go, how polls go. We'll see where it goes, but it is on my list. And after this, I, I have heard very good things about it too. Um, but I'm just, yeah, I'm excited for that eventually. And just, I'm, I'm very happy and content with the way this ended. I'm just like in a bit of like a warm buzz, even though it was kind of a sad ending. There's, there's, I feel like there's just such positivity left with it. Who knows if that's how other people interpret it, but that's just, that's what I'm feeling currently. Who knows in an hour, two days, a week when this will get posted. Cause well, we've still got a lot of episodes for me to edit and upload before that gets out, but we'll see. But um, other than that, I hope you've having a fantastic day. I really hope you enjoyed um, and I hope to see you in something else.